Steeler Nation, welcome back to the Steeler Wade Show. My name is Jake Wade, and thank you, Steeler Nation, for checking me out. Troy is our number one pick. I've talked about him many times on past podcasts about things I like about him. I've talked more about the situation of tackles like him. Um, and how it would go with this draft. And not that I know anything, but it bloated out a little bit. You know, Fuaga went way later than I thought. Alt even went, I mean, but... Um, uh, I think a lot of Steeler Nation is going to be have mixed reviews. A lot of them are going to obviously see the athleticism and think, great pick. It might be, you know, and then you're going to have this other side over here going to be like, we still haven't addressed the need um, because I imagine this is like the cloud of Roger going to the left and he hasn't played right now. I get it. One of the things I kept talking about in the draft, before the draft was that I have keep I have keep, I have keep thinking, I have keep thinking about, a little Canadian there for you, the, uh, lost it, that was bad, the value of this position, this is going to be a short one, I'm sorry, because I'm not supposed to do it. Maybe you mix these two opinions of Steeler Nation together about we obviously know this is a value pick. Let me get inside of the frame. We obviously know this is a value pick. And the other people are like, we haven't addressed an issue. Maybe we don't know what the issue to be addressed is. And you're right. Now we're getting ready to go into Friday night. That's when I'm recording this and... I, even though they have said they, they, the Steelers, have said he's a tackle. Many podcasters that I appreciate say, I would like to have, see him play tackle first, you know. And if it doesn't work out, we'll figure it out, you know. You know, I'm not so all that in the mood. Because the Steelers don't start people normally as rookies. I'm not all that into letting something fail. And uh, figuring it out because you have an athletic player. I'm hoping that they're ahead of the game. If you recall, a few days ago, we reinvented um, Alex Smith's contract. When it came out, I remember telling my partner at work, dude, my partner at work is a Bills fan. And he stayed up all night to watch him see his team trade back twice. So, can you imagine? That's what you get for beating us in the playoffs. Okay. Uh, the reason why I don't do these podcasts on Fridays is because I might come up with these outlandish... These are the days of our lives ideas. These are all my children, all my stealers. When we ended up doing that, renegotiating the contract of Alex Smith, we all, as Steeler Nation, were like, and I was too, I was like, hey, a signing's coming the next day. You know what I mean? That's what I was saying. I was like, hey, we, you know, because I'm a fanboy. We're going to move this money aside. And we are going to sign somebody. I'm not on the IU train. I'm not on the Sutton train. I, I, I don't have anything wrong to say about either player. It's just uh, Sutton's older. IU is expensive. But I don't have much more to add to that. But I am wondering... And this is just where I go with things. You know, I 
I'm like, James Daniel is, was a badass center. It is his favorite position. I don't know if you know that, but it's well documented. It is his favorite position to play. I would love, after this pick, showing James Daniel, you have a replacement coming for you at guard if you don't re-sign. It's not like we're going to start him anyway. We're not going to start him anyway, you know? So, um, unless he's badass. And he is, but it means still. Now is the time where I'd be pushing up on James Daniels. Hey, you want to commit to three years at center? Give that contract negotiation right cheer right now to James Daniels. Tell him, hey, you want to be a center? Be the center. Now we have someone to back up Nate Herbig at guard or replacing. We have still have Spencer Anderson to replace or back up Troy and Nate. And I would be going out there. And getting, just don't mess around, man. Tonight's the night. Don't mess around. Get Blake Fisher in the third. And now you're done. You're done. That's what the Steeler Wade show identifies what Andy Weidel says about looking good coming off the bus. I hope this feeds into the whole people wanting Broderick on the left-hand side. These are not starting September games. I'm just saying. I know you already know because you have, you know, Steelers, you know. We're going to put, this is daydreaming. <laughs> you put Isaac back at right guard where his People are all concerned about this whole natural position, right? That's not where he's supposed to be. That's where I had to give him a lot of forgiveness last year because we're asking him to play left guard. He's right guard. Put him to right guard. Put James Daniels at center. Now, Troy has some experience at left guard. Doesn't have a right guard. Isn't that picture perfect? Isn't that something? Hmm. Now you put him backing up Nate Herbig at left guard. And you don't mess around in this tonight. You go out and get a real, 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 real right tackle, Blake Fisher. And that's what it means to look good coming off the bus. Folks, please press like if you would. And just if there's any way of sharing. You know, just get more used to it. You know, somehow, like, I come across podcasts, and I'm just talking. I come across podcasts, and if it moves me, if there's something to be said, like, man, I think Steeler Nation needs to hear it. It has nothing to do with me. It's just like, I like it. You know what I mean? Just share it. How If you're on Facebook or X or Instagram or whatever, just put the name out there. It helps us. It helps me. You know, and that's what I really appreciate. One thing that I do, if there's other people out there that would please share. I have this new deal going on with the Steel Away Show. Books for inmates. I'm looking for donations. And um, because the giveaway didn't go as quickly as I thought it would. You want to know who was the winner of the giveaway? Well, the winner of the giveaway is Mr. Joe Pineda. Out of St. George, Utah, and it happens to fit him. It's my my darling little nephew. He was the only one that put some... <laughs> I mean, I got comments, but nobody actually like watched the whole video and actually did the giveaway deal as far as put a pick in there. Not even one. Nobody even put in Burton. But... This will be cracking the cherry, and I will be sending this out to St. George, so I hope you are watching. 
Joe Pineda, Sick Maid, and uh, please like the video, subscribe. I hope you have a great Friday night watching this draft. You know, uh, y'all have your wishes. Give me your wishes. You want to send them in there. You probably won't get this till after the draft. So my wishes would be, I know that I just said this scenario, but I still want Cooper VB at 51. With all this defense stuff that's being pushed out, though, there legitimately might be a chance of moving up and getting Chris Jenkins. I thought there would be no way possible that he could. And there's a chance. Zach Frazier, Jackson Powers Johnson. I'm not into it. But. And then get Blake Fisher with our second, third round tonight. You know what I mean? What I'm talking about, boys. He is awesome. His true position. Get Project back at his natural position. Wouldn't that just make everybody happy? And we have two offensive line rookies that could probably start starting by week six or week nine. Maybe one of them earlier. Maybe one a little later. You know. And uh, I think everything's going great for the Steeler Nation. I think it was a great pick. No matter how, you know, they know what they're doing. And folks, have a great weekend. I'll try to do another one this weekend. So, have a great night, folks. AMF Steel Nation. You're the best.